Hey everybody, in this topic I'm going to show you how we can sort an array. First I'll explain the logic behind it, then we'll write a C++ program to actually handle it. We'll use a standard bubble sort, it's an easy sorting algorithm to write, although there are more efficient sorting algorithms. We're still learning, so let's stick with a bubble sort. So with the bubble sort, we begin at index 0, the beginning of our array. We'll examine the element directly to the right. If the element on the left is larger than the element on the right, we need to swap these two elements. I will take this element, move it within some temporary storage, like a temporary variable, take the element on the right, move it to the left, take whatever is within temp, place it within that opening. Again we take our value, examine the element to the right. If it's larger, we swap them. Then we would just repeat this until we reach the end. So that would be one element. We would repeat this process with the rest of the elements. Now for the next iteration, 1 is not greater than 9, so we leave it alone. Then we check the next element, 9 is greater than 2, we would swap these two values. I'll speed up the footage. That is a quick demonstration of a bubble sort. So let's actually write this in code now. Okay, let's create an array. This will be an array of integers. Make up some numbers, make sure they're not in order. Let's calculate the size of the array. And size equals size of our array divided by the size of one of the elements at the end of our program, we will iterate over our array. I'll use a for each loop. Int element in array. I will display using standard output every element, then I think I'll separate each with a space. Okay, and here's our array, obviously unsorted. So let's change that. I'll create a sort function. Void sort. There will be two parameters. An integer array int size. Let's add a function declaration at the top of our program. Before we print our array, let's invoke the sort function that we just created. Pass in our array as well as the size. There we go. Okay, so let's head to our sort function. What we'll need to do is iterate over our array once for every element that's within the array. We'll need the help of a temporary variable to swap some values. Then we'll need nested loops. For int i equals 0, we'll continue this as long as i is less than the size of our array minus 1. The reason that the condition is size minus 1 is because we don't need to compare the last element to anything. The larger values will naturally gravitate towards the end of the array. Increment i by 1. Then we'll need a nested for loop. Let's use index j because i is already taken. Now our condition is going to be size minus i minus 1. Once we place the larger elements all the way to the right, they should already be in order. We don't need to sort any elements that are already sorted. Then what we have to do is use an if statement to check to see if the current element that we're on, array at index of j, is greater than the element on the right, array at index of j plus 1. If the element on the left is larger than the element on the right, we just have to swap those two values. We'll take temp, which we declared up here, equals array at index of j 
array at index of j equals array at index of j plus 1. Then lastly, array at index of j plus 1 equals whatever's within temp. And that should be it. Let's run this. Yeah, and our array is now sorted in ascending order. So if you need descending order within this if statement, use less than. And now this array is in descending order. Well, okay then everybody, that's one way in which you can sort an array. We used what's known as a bubble sort. It's easy to write, but it's not as efficient as some other algorithms that are out there. This is a good one for beginners. If you would like a copy of this code, I'll post this in the comment section down below. And well, yeah, that's how to sort an array using C++.